the next method used is polarimeter polarimetric method to study chemical kinetics here the molecule which which are optically active optically active molecule can be uh, the kinetics of optically active molecules is studied here in polarimetric method uh, inversion of sucrose we study the kinetics of uh, uh, inversion of uh, sucrose here the sucrose molecule is idolized the presence of uh, HCl you will get uh, glucose and you will get fructose this molecule sucrose is a dextro rotatory molecule and glucose is also dextro rotatory molecule this is also dextro rotatory molecule but glucose this is glucose this is fructose this levo rotatory molecule its its the angle of rotation is 52.5 degree this is 92 degree this is about 66 minus 92 this is about 66 degree plus plus you know you know what a uh, uh, ordinary light an ordinary light is passed through a polarizer an ordinary light source this is an ordinary light source um, that pass through uh, a polarizer the vibrations will be there the the vibrations of uh, of this ordinary light will be there in all the directions this is this is i can write The disturbance or the vibrations of the light which is coming from this source will be in all the directions. When this light passes through a polarizer, is known as nickel prism, that will cut off all the vibrations and allow only one vibration to pass through. So this. You know the vibrations of an ordinary light will be in all the direction when this light is passed through a polarizer then all other vibrations all the vibrations in all other planes are cut off only one particular vibrations that pass through this nickel prism is coming out so this light when this light this is called a plane polarized light when this plane polarized light is passed through an optically active compound a molecule optically optically active molecule that the molecule is asymmetric and also disymmetric sometimes disymmetric molecules also will rotate optically active asymmetric molecules also uh, optically active that molecule with, uh, molecule which does not possess any of the uh, symmetry elements is known as asymmetric molecule then the molecule is not symmetric and those molecules are optically active molecules 
when the plane polarized light pass through this optically active molecule then this vibration is rotated the plane of this polarized light this vibration is rotated either clockwise or anti clockwise see this is this is assume this is perpendicular and before passing through this compound the vibrations in the perpendicular plane but after passing through this you will see this is at right angle in the clockwise the vibration is rotated right so this is perpendicular so some angle of angle is rotated after passing through this optically active this is called halpa angle of rotation this is actually analyzed by using another polarizer and by looking at through a lens uh, or through your high there is your high piece you 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 can you can see this the light this is polarimeter right uh, we use polarimeter this whole setup this whole setup uh, is known as polarimeter an instrument used to find out this angle of rotation so dextro rotatory sucrose is a dextro rotatory molecule that is the angle of rotation in the clockwise the angle is about i'm not very sure but it is about 66 glucose is also when the reaction when the sucrose started giving products glucose and fructose two molecules are formed and you will notice here glucose is dextro rotatory again glucose is dextro rotatory and fructose is levo rotatory molecule that is dextro rotatory is clockwise the angle of the plane polarized light is rotated to the clockwise the plane of the plane polarized light is rotated to the clockwise but levo rotatory it is rotated to the anti clockwise direction so in this conversion you will see a positive angle when the reactant is converted into product you will you will notice the angle of rotation goes from positive to negative because here you see large negative here you see uh, compared to this negative is negative angle is large so combine this two the combined when you uh, when the combine this you will notice it is it is negative the angle of rotation is negative product of the product together the angle of rotation will be negative but here uh, that is anti clockwise here reactant angle of rotation is clockwise so when you start the reaction you will notice the angle of rotation when it gives product the angle of rotation will go decrease because product is formed product angle of rotation is minus so the net effect is the angle changes from uh, clockwise the rotation angle changes from the clockwise to the anti clockwise so angle will change from positive to negative so during this chemical reaction the angle of rotation changes during this chemical reaction chemical changes reactant converts into product and during this conversion angle of rotation actually changes so we measure this angle of rotation using polarimeter in polarimeter you will have polarizer you will have analyzer and you will have sample vessel and you will have um, uh, lenses you will have sources light sources and etc so and the, and, uh, the angle you will have a circular circular uh, Uh, to measure a, a, a circular scale will be attached to measure the angle this is polarimeter so we use polarimeter to study chemical kinetics i said any change any property that changes with time can be measured to study chemical kinetics here is the angle of rotation is one of the property associated with this chemical reactions we are going to measure the angle of rotation right 
and uh, this reaction is again um, uh, follows first order reaction when you take large quantity of water molecule then this reaction will follow pseudo first first order reaction that is pseudo first order reaction so i have to use a by a minus x the same first order equation to study this reaction here uh, a is directly proportional to a is directly proportional to uh, v uh, sorry a is directly proportional to right alpha 0 minus alpha infinity and a minus x is directly proportional to a is alpha 0 minus alpha infinite minus of alpha 0 minus alpha t so this alpha alpha and get cancelled so we'll get the alpha t plus alpha t minus alpha infinite this is angle of rotation so how do i study the same way as we did in the case of a, a, a volumetric method we 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 take uh, glucose uh, so sorry sucrose uh, we mix it with the uh, dilute hcl uh, we mix it at zero time and this mixture at zero time is transferred at zero time it's transferred into uh, here you see a sample tube here in between you you'll see a sample tube so this mixture is filled with this sample tube without bubble and uh, at zero time the angle of rotation is noted see this is alpha zero at various time see 10th minute 20th minute for example for instance i choose 10 20th 30th minutes at various time interval i have to find out the angle of rotation which is known as alpha t then uh, the completion of after completion of the reaction at the infinite we call it as alpha infinite this means that the reaction is completed this is the reaction is um, you you have to take the reaction mixture and you have to heat you have to heat the reaction mixture um, so that the reaction uh, completes so this alpha infinite is again measured the heated mixture uh, some about 30 minutes the mixture should be heated and then the mixture is cooled and then it is the its angle of rotation is measured so you are you are actually measuring alpha 0 alpha t and alpha infinite various time interval at various time you are measuring angle of rotation and uh, from here a is directly proportional to alpha naught minus alpha from here i can i can substitute the equation first order equation alpha 0 minus alpha infinite divided by alpha t minus alpha infinite so from this data i can find out k value rate constant so this is how you can find out rate constant of inversion of sucrose reaction using polarimeter and also you can convert this into straight line convert into straight line So this is y axis x axis if you plot you will get straight line from the slope m from the slope m this is negative slope i will get the straight line you at time under log 
alpha t minus alpha infinite log of alpha t minus alpha infinite is plotted you plot you will get straight line from the slope you can find out rate constant ok So that's about uh, polarimeter. So we can use polarimeter to study chemical kinetics.